Here at Newbury, it's race 29, the Mark Loveday Maiden. It's a chase over two miles, so we're going to see some pacey chases here. It's five-year-old horses and up. Ali Savannah for Hems, two-mile chase specialist. Admiral Ascoli for Martin Leadham. Desert Orchids for John. Jason X for Ryan Tamasebi. The Ninja, Joshua Sutherland. Broad Stripes for D. Hooley. Large Septier for Jim Murray, looking to get another one on the board. And Liver Falou for James Shea. And they're off and running. The tapes have gone up and it's Desert Orchids. That's in the early lead. Quickly approach that first fence. No time to set themselves for that. But all of them jumped it really well. Large Septier and the Ninja are just in behind this early leader. That is the grey Desert Orchids. Some name to live up to there. As they jump over the water, the fence there. And all of them get over it. Lovely. A good round of jumping so far. It's Desert Orchids in the lead. Large Septier. The Ninja and Jason X in third and fourth, just tracking in behind Desert Orchids and Jim Murray looking for a quick follow-up here after winning the two-mile five furlong hurdle in the previous race. Towards the rear of the field, we've got Liver Falou, Ali Savannah, Admiral Ascoli, and Broad Stripes is currently the back marker for David Hooley. Some airtime there from Jim Murray's large septi air, but not a particularly quick jump, and that allowed the Ninja and Jason X just to close up ever so slightly. But no real s severe mistake so far, which, as we know, in a two-mile chase race can often put a horse out of contention. And again, uh, it's a slight mistake there from the Ninja, and that allowed Jason X, who put in a better leap, to move on past that horse into third and outright third position as they come to that next flight quite quickly another really good jump from desert orchids up front matching its namesake that legendary horse desi for its jumping so far but still remains to be seen whether it does have the same level of class as that horse that we'll all remember and cherish oh we've had one we've had one unseat the rider there at the back admiral Ascoli didn't put in a particular great jump and the jockey couldn't stay on on that one so we've lost one but apart from that they've all jumped pretty well you can see there Ali Savannah's put a really good jump in there alongside the ninja better than Jason X who's uh, hit a bit of a flat spot there had to be ridden out of that last off the back of that last fence after not putting in a particularly fluent jump broad stripes and liver Falou still towards the rear of the field at the moment but still traveling well enough and there's long enough left to go in this race for them to fight their way into contention here. But it's some early pace being set here in this chase race for those speedier chase types. Desert Orchid still the leader. A length back to Large Septier. The Ninja and Jason X have not only swapped positions on the leaderboard so far, but swapped positions in terms of track position as well as the ninjas now on the outside of jason x ali savannah rather than staying on the rail is moved out wider still perhaps there's some even quicker ground towards the center of the track because that's where ali savannah's going is it going to the next like what a mistake from desert orchids plowed through it just didn't get off the ground and just plowed straight through the fence and you can see it's having to be ridden quite aggressively to try and maintain its position another relatively slow jump there i think the horse might have lost its confidence it allowed ali savannah and the ninja to pass it jason x the black horse on the wide outside as we go to the final two and a half furlongs but ali savannah in the lead for craig allen oh it's put in quite a slow jump there but an even worse jump from jason x he's put himself out the race there with a bad mistake desert orchids gamely fighting back on the rail there the gray after two poor jumps and one terrible one it's still fighting back ali savannah's now made a mistake and put itself out the race so it's into the final furlong and this one's between the ninja and desert orchids it would be some win for desert orchids if it could still get up after those two mistakes but the ninja really Really battling along down the middle of the track and is now edging clear as they go to the line. The Ninja wins it for Joshua Sutherland. What could have been for Desert Orchids if it hadn't made those two mistakes? One terrible mistake and then a slower jump at the next flight, of flight as it tried to rebuild its confidence. There's a stewards inquiry in process. I'm not quite sure what that would be for. I'm sure the Ninja's going to hold on to this race. Jason X ran on into third. That one put a mistake in at a crucial time. But an even worse mistake at a crucial time from Ali Savannah for Craig Allen, who made that mistake and totally dropped out uh, quite tamely there. Uh, the Ninja wins it for Joshua Sutherland by three quarters of a length to Desert Orchids. Uh, like I said, ran a great race. Jason X six and a quarter lengths back in third. And Ali Savannah in fourth. Uh, and Large Septier completes the top five for Jim Murray. But a really good performance there from the first and second. It'll be interesting to see where they go next. Congratulations to Joshua Sutherland wins the Mark Loveday Maiden.